Hello, um, I'm going to do a video here on creating walls in advanced steel. So this is a project I'm doing. And uh, as you can see, it's, you know, with the walls on different levels, it's not quite complete, but it's enough for uh, my plans. You know, and there's a couple of different ways to create walls. So I'm going to copy this polyline. This is one of the walls over here on this side over here. So let's copy this to three instances. So we'll do five foot and ten foot copy. Uh, so we have three walls here. So how I generally create walls is if I'm doing a lot of them, I'll draw up my polylines like this. And uh, hold on, let me reduce my advanced steel size so you guys can see everything I'm doing. So what I'll do is I'll just extrude these. So I'll just go to the concrete wall layer. And then I'll do EXTR and 10 foot. And you can see that's on the concrete wall there. And there I have it. Now, this will not come in hatched. I'll need to hatch this on the drawing, like here. So just click on it and go to hatch and come in here and do it that way, which is fine. It takes 10 or 15 seconds. Or what we can do is we can go back to the model and we can create these two different ways. Now this is a basic solid, so it's just a couple of lines. It takes up very little room uh, memory wise. So if you have a lot of walls, big project, this is what I've been advised to do since I started Advanced Steel. What you can also do is go to objects. You can go to plate and create a plate here on this polyline. And we want to create that plate in the other direction. And it's going to be 10 foot, the same as this other one. So now you also have this. And then you want to go into the behavior and you don't want to use it for numbering or for lists. And that's fine. So that's good. And then you have the last way of doing it, which is to create an actual wall, which is probably my least favorite way of doing it. Uh, that's not saying I'm right. I'm probably wrong. But uh, this is just how I do it. So we would have to draw this line over here and enter. And we can see that this is 16 feet. So let's make it 10 feet to match the other ones. And the thickness of this is actually going to be, this is 14, 16 inches plus 5. So it's oh, thickness, 1 foot 9. It's, it's, it's like 1 foot 4 plus 6 inches. But it's an 8 less than that. Sorry, it's kind of confusing. <coughs> It's just the way it was on the model so we would have to do this and then we would have to create a feature so we will come to our features palette and we will create a square feature here make sure UCS is in the correct direction and there's one feature and then we're going to create another feature over here and that will give us three fairly identical walls right now you can see this, I was doing a pocket earlier, so this has come in like I did the pockets. So we won't, we don't want to restrict the sides. We want to cut that all the way through. And the same here. Uh, contour, and we don't want to create a boundary. All right, so now you can see we have three walls. And as I was shown, so when I want to create a pocket, basically we'll go eight inches that way. Sorry, wrong way delete that let's turn off that restriction and we want to draw a line this way eight inches and this way five inches and what we'll do is we'll draw a rectangle here and then we'll copy that rectangle over to the other points so to show us how we do our features now Basically, the plate and the wall are going to act the same. They're just basically the same thing. If you go in here, behavior, we can also use the concrete for numbering and lists. We'll turn that off. So this is solid. This is a plate. This is a wall. So in order to create this feature, we need to come in here like this. And that has come in the way I did the last one. So it's a 10 foot wall. So you need to create the contour. We want to go five foot up and then you want to have, let's say, a 10 inch pocket. So you want to be minus four foot two. 
and there's your pocket now if you go back in here let me see contour <coughs> yeah so let's do the contour again here and it has come in as the previous version which is fine so then you can you know do your pockets that way so that's not too bad once you set it up the first time and then I guess with the solid you're just gonna do you're just gonna extrude down 10 inches and then you're going to go to extended modeling and you're going to minus that from it so basically you have the same thing there let's get rid of this so you can see properly and there you have it your three walls whatever you choose to do it i still do it as solids because it just it's just going to take up less memory i think i could be wrong but uh hope that helps all right take care